Our planet is full of incredible, unforgettable, sometimes frankly weird animals. But there's a whole lot more waiting out there that have rarely, if ever, been seen by average humans like you and, to a lesser extent, I. From a real-life Muppet bird to the world's most trafficked non-human mammal, here are the 15 wild animals that have rarely been seen. <sighs> Number 15. Shoebill Stork Easily one of my favorite animals nobody has ever heard of, the shoebill stork is basically nature's tribute to the Muppets. While most people have never seen one of these things in person, those that see even photos of the creature find it to be pretty frightening. I actually think it's cute in a weird kind of way. But then I love the Muppets, so I'm biased. Shoebills tend to live in eastern Africa, making their home in the wetlands near the Nile. And while most people have never seen them in person, there's no mistaking them for any other animal. They can grow up to 5 feet tall, their wings are over 8 feet wide, and that bill? Oh boy, that bill. Anybody that encountered one of these animals in the wild would remember it, for sure. But perhaps one of the most notable things about the shoebill is the way that it moves. Get ready for some nightmare fuel. Shoebills have the frightening ability to stand perfectly still for hours on end, while holding their bills against their necks, exposing their golden eyes, and making any rational human soil their pants. Very few people have seen a shoebill in the wild. But those that have will tell you, it's definitely not the kind of Muppet you'd want to show your kids. Before we go on, we have a cool challenge for y'all that will take 5 seconds to complete. Let's make a deal. Just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you will get 10 years of amazing luck and fortune. Try it, it actually works. Number 14. The Pangolin Like many humans, some animals are naturally shy, and would rather not be encountering humans out in the wild, especially if those humans are actively trying to kill them. For the harmless pangolin, this tragic fate is a daily reality, and may explain why so few people have seen them in the wild. The pangolin is considered to be the world's most trafficked mammal, not including humans, with poachers killing tens of thousands every single year. Their meat is considered a delicacy for ultra-wealthy citizens in China and Vietnam, while their scales are frequently used in traditional Chinese medicine. As a result, every species of pangolin is considered to be either critically endangered or vulnerable, perhaps explaining why it's so hard to see one in its natural habitat. Several animal rights organizations have voted to ban pangolin poaching, but it may well be too late to reverse the declining population. Many people continue to search for pangolins in the wild, though it's becoming an increasingly difficult challenge to do so. These peaceful and shy animals are dwindling in population year on year, meaning many of us will just have to settle for pretty photos. Number 13. The Seneca White Deer there aren't many animals that are the focus of conspiracy theories, but the Seneca white deer has enough for the whole animal kingdom. It seems nobody can fully agree about where these beautiful animals came from, which only makes them more magical. Or if you're a conspiracy nut, concerning. Theories range from an army experiment gone wrong, to radioactive genetic mutation, to the idea that they're actually ghosts. If all of those sound a little too ridiculous for you, you can also just choose to trust the scientists that claim they have some slightly different genes to regular deer. Even if it is a little boring by comparison, while the white deer is hard to find in the wild, They've been around since at least 1941, when they began thriving inside of a fenced-off area of land designated for the U.S. Army. While most of the deer were your typical expected brown deer, some had this unusual and extremely noticeable white coat, which immediately launched the conspiracy theories we know and love today. Today, the Seneca white deer is a rare animal to spot in the wild. But thanks to its naturally bright coat, it's a hard one to miss if you do happen to stumble upon it. The only question is, where did it come from? And the answer is, we don't know. Number 12. The Elephant Shrew Now we move on to an animal whose very name is a complete contradiction. 
The elephant shrew is a big little animal that's not at all related to the shrew family and isn't close to being anywhere near the size of an elephant. Confused already? Excellent. The elephant shrew is a very small mammal measuring anywhere between 10 and 30 centimeters. However, despite this tiny little frame, they're more closely related to animals like elephants than to any kind of true shrew, which explains the name, if not the genetics. These are animals that can survive in pretty much all kinds of habitats. from jungles and forests to plains and mountains all over the world. And yet, nobody ever sees them. Why is that? Well, for one, they're so small that you probably just wouldn't see them. But also, they're one of the fastest small mammals on the planet, capable of reaching speeds up to 17.9 miles per hour. The elephant shrew is easily one of the more bizarre animals on our planet, and one of the most memorable. A tiny little animal like this being related to something as large as an elephant is definitely one of Mother Nature's more unique creations. Number 11. The Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat with a name like the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat, you know this is going to be a fun little animal to talk about. And it really is one of the more adorable things you'll ever see, which makes it all the sadder to know that they're critically endangered. But man, are they cute. Like pretty much all wombats, this species is pretty heavy, with a stocky body, short tail, and short solid legs. But this is also an animal that is incredibly rare to see outside of zoos or animal facilities. Due to its fundamental nature, this is the largest known herbivorous burrowing mammal in the world. And when an animal prefers to spend its time underground, it makes it pretty tricky for the rest of us, ordinary people, to find them in the wild. In addition, male and female wombats look pretty much the same, although the males tend to be a little shorter than their female counterparts. Still, the northern hairy-nosed wombat is one of the most adorable animals you've never seen. And hopefully, with ongoing conservation efforts, the species can be protected from environmental dangers. We need more adorably cute animals like the hairy-nosed wombat, as our world is going to hell around us. Number 10. The Yanks Finless Porpoise it often seems that the rarest creatures are also the most adorable. And that is, to some degree, accurate. In the case of the Yanks finless porpoise, there's just something about the animal's smile that is completely charming and sweet. But, sadly, this is another animal whose rarity is involuntary. Much like its descendant relative, the now extinct Yanks River dolphin known as the Baiji, it seems there has never really been a time in which the finless porpoise was not facing extinction due to changing climate, habitat fragmentation, and a rapidly increasing loss of food, this is an animal that is constantly in danger of disappearing off the face of the planet. As a result, very few people are able to find these beautiful creatures in the natural wilderness. Still, at least we have videos and photographs to remind us of just how truly gorgeous they are. Today, there are only around 1,012 finless porpoises in the world, making these a critically endangered species. While some individual porpoises are living in zoos and aquariums around the world, the animal is all but impossible to find in the wild without a whole lot of luck. Number 9. The Borneo Pygmy Elephant If Reno is the biggest little city in the world, then the Borneo Pygmy Elephant is surely the smallest large elephant on the continent of Asia. Okay, so it's not quite as impressive when you phrase it like that, but it's got such a good ring to it that we're not going to backtrack now. The Borneo Pygmy Elephant is the smallest elephant in the world, and is, as expected from the name, incredibly cute. With its baby face, big belly, large ears, and its long, long tail. These are the most adorable elephants in the world. Seriously, Dumbo has nothing on this little guy. The adorableness makes sense, as these animals are the descendants of domesticated elephants that belonged to sultans in the 17th century. They were essentially pets for rich people. Thanks to evolution and genetic changes, the Borneo elephants became much smaller though their ears continued to grow larger, giving them their unique appearance. The Borneo pygmy elephant is considered to be an endangered species, with very few living in zoos around the world. For these very gentle animals, their safety and well-being is reliant entirely on their environment being protected, which is perhaps why they don't tend to go out in the wild often. Number 8. The Black Spotted Couscous 
Contrary to popular belief, the couscous is not the live version of the similarly named grain. I had to check multiple times because I was convinced. But it turns out that's apparently just a hilarious coincidence. In actuality, the couscous is a little known mammal that looks a little bit like a possum. So far from a vegetarian friendly grain. With its unusual, vertically split pupils, arced front claws, and tail capable of grasping onto the trees in which it lives, it's hard to imagine that nobody can actually find these rare animals, especially since the black-spotted couscous is known only on the island of New Guinea. However, even there, it's very difficult to locate. Throughout its entire life, the black-spotted couscous has been the target of local hunters, who are currently the only known predator of this incredible creature. Combined with the often cited climate change and habitat alterations, it's clear why this magnificent animal has been all but vanishing from the face of the earth. Many experts hope to be able to reproduce and reintroduce the species into its natural habitat, though the continued problem of hunters poses a significant threat to that plan. We'll just have to hold out hopes for more couscous, not the food. Number seven, the purple frog. Frogs come in all sizes, colors, and types of poison, which perhaps explains why nobody ever thought to look for the purple frog, a species that is located only in India and has been around for some 100 million years, yet many that visit are unable to find them, making their whole existence a question mark. The purple frog is known as a burrowing species, which some scientists claim is the reason why the animal was overlooked by the experts for so long. After all, who looks for frogs underground? The very first formal sighting of the frog came in 2003, which is incredibly late given that scientists confirmed that the purple frog's DNA had been around for over 100 million years. That molecular experimentation also suggested that the species is very closely related to another family that exists on the Seychelles Islands. These two families appear to share some kind of ancestor that was ultimately isolated on two different areas of the planet. Despite being around since the dinosaurs were roaming the Earth, the purple frog still manages to elude humans at every turn. And when even scientists are unable to find one of these specimens, what hope do the rest of us have? Number 6. The Hooded Greb as far as animal names go, the hooded greb does sound like some sinister creature from an HBO historical drama, but this animal actually dates much farther back than any television drama ever made. These critically endangered animals are over 35 million years old. Although they look pretty good for their age, the hooded greb can usually be found in southern Argentina, if it can be found at all. While they're pretty noticeable birds thanks to their black and white feathers, they've been named as a critically endangered species. It's estimated that there are only between 800 and 1,000 individual birds left on the planet. As a result of the devastating impact climate change has had on their natural habitat, with less snowfall, the lakes are drying up, killing off many of the food sources that the greb thrives on. Coupled with their very low reproductive rate, these animals seem to have many hobbies that keep them away from bedroom time. This means that few hooded grebs are able to survive and thrive. Thanks to the consideration efforts of multiple organizations, the hooded greb's population is now stable, though still critically endangered. While they're difficult animals to see in the wild, they're thankfully still with us. Number 5. The Philippine Eagle now we come to a real contradiction of terms. The Philippine eagle is the biggest bird in the world, in terms of its length and wingspan. Yet it's also one of the rarest and least seen birds on the planet. Try and figure that one out. Also known as the monkey-eating eagle, this bird is the national bird of the Philippines and is capable of living for up to 60 years. Initially, it was believed to only feed on monkeys, hence the alternative name, though this was later found to be untrue. In essence, the Philippine eagle is believed to be the apex predator in its range, capable of feeding on just about any prey that it considers worthy. 
from small bats to a 14 kilogram deer. To put that into context for you, the Philippine eagle weighs on average between four and eight kilograms. So it's eating something double its weight. While killing this bird is illegal in the Philippines, carrying a whopping 12 year sentence, the deforestation of the eagle's natural habitat has led to a sharp decline in the species population, making it all but impossible to spot one in the wild. Number four, Southern Darwin's frog. Can you guess who discovered this frog? Yep, you guessed it. Charles Darwin himself famously discovered this unusual frog in Chile. While journeying around the world on the HMS Beagle, it was rediscovered by a French zoologist, André Marie Constant Dumeril. The animal was officially named the Southern Darwin's Frog. This rare species can be found in South America and prefers to thrive in forests, glades, and other natural areas near to slow flowing rivers and streams. But all of that information is kind of useless as nobody ever sees the South Darwin's Frog thanks to its unique camouflage tactics. While chameleons and other reptiles have an incredible ability to change their skin, Darwin's frog has no need to change anything. Thanks to its brown-green color, this is an animal that camouflages naturally. When faced with a potential predator, the frog lays on the ground as if it's a dead leaf. And incredibly, it works. But it also means that nobody ever really sees them. Darwin's frog is now listed as a vulnerable species due to habitat loss caused by deforestation and climate change. But it's also entirely possible that the species has never been healthier, and that we're all just being misled by what we assume is a bunch of dead leaves. Number three, the pygmy three-toed sloth. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but there's something about the sloth that is incredibly endearing. Perhaps it's just the lazy way it lives, or the fact that it's simply adorable. But there's something about these animals that you just can't help but love. Well, this one may be even cuter. Hell, everything pygmy is cute. The pygmy three-toed sloth can only be found on the Isla Escudo de Veruguas, a small island located just off the coast of Panama. Here, the sloth does everything that it could possibly hope for. Sleep, swim, sleep, eat, sleep, sleep, climb, sleep, climb down for one day per week to poop, sleep. Look, the life of a sloth is pretty enviable. We can all agree on that. The pygmy three-toed sloth is yet another magnificent wild animal listed as critically endangered. Though its ability to survive cannot be understated, as the smallest member of the sloth family, the pygmy has a few genetic blessings that allow it to thrive, including camouflage, thanks to its coloring, stealth, thanks to its super slow approach to life, and remarkably strong hide, thanks to, well, it doesn't have to poop for a while, so lack of use? Look, I'm very jealous of the sloth, that's all you need to know. Number two, the Ronaldo Dwarf Galago. With a name like that, you'd expect it to be some kind of Lord of the Rings type creature. But actually, you'd be pretty far wrong. The Rondo Dwarf Galago is a very, very cute little bush baby and the smallest known Galago known to man. If you've never heard of a Galago before now, welcome to the club. Native to its homeland, Tanzania, the Rondo Dwarf Galago makes its home in subtropical forests. And, true to form, its home is tiny. The entire species lives in an area less than 100 square kilometers in area, and even that is growing smaller by the year. As deforestation continues to destroy the dwarf Galago's home, this species is becoming increasingly more endangered, landing on lists of the most endangered mammals on Earth year on year. And since they're so tiny, it's almost impossible to locate and keep track of these animals for preservation purposes. With its wide eyes and big ears, the Rondo Dwarf Galago is one of the cutest animals you could ever hope to see, whatever the circumstances. It's just a shame that they're almost never seen naturally in the wild. As their name suggests, they'd have some amazing journeys. Number 1. The Hero La you know an animal is endangered when the Wikipedia image is a drawing instead of a photo. Well, the Hero La, or Hunter's Antelope, is definitely endangered, and if it were to go extinct, it would also be a groundbreaking loss. The first extinction of a mammal on the African continent in modern times. 
The hero law was first discovered in Kenya in 1888 and was immediately characterized by their large horns and unusual eyes, which contained glands capable of marking their territory. But while they're easy enough to spot, there's just very little way for anybody to actually see one. Globally, there are only around 300 and 500 specimens left on Earth, and with no animals in captivity, the natural progressing decline of these animals suggests that there's very little that can be done to slow the eventual extinction of these magnificent creatures. The hero law has already been labeled as critically endangered, though little else can be done to save these animals. Sadly, it seems that these images will be the only way for most of us to appreciate the wonder of the hero law, and wondrous they are. Which of these animals do you most wish you could see? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.